10 space stocks that you need to start watching right now. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor and today we have 10 space related companies to speak about because Cathy Woods Arc Invest plans Arc X, the space exploration ETF to tap into the growing industry. A lot of you guys are probably aware that I'm very interested in the space sector as a whole. I don't have the most exposure in the world. My two primary space related positions are SRAC and Virgin Galactic. But now that I see Cathy Wood and the Ag team looking to get this involved in space, I'm gonna start doing a lot more research into it myself. So today I have 10 space related companies that you have the chance to get into before this Arc X is launched and before Cathy Wood and Arc Invest gets to buy into them. Now one thing to remember when we're speaking about these space related companies, it's doesn't mean that all they have to do is go to space. There's much more to it than that. There's four categories of companies that will be in the Arc X. We have orbital aerospace companies. They're companies that launch, make, service, or operate platforms in the orbital space. That's things like satellites and launch vehicles. Then there's suborbital aerospace. It's the exact same thing, but suborbital, obviously. Then we have enabling technology companies, okay? So that can be things like artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing. Then there are the aerospace beneficiary companies. So they're the guys who are going to benefit from space activity. Okay, agriculture, internet access, GPS, etc, etc. So my friends, since we are speaking about 10 stocks, I'm going to be going through them all very quickly. The main purpose of today's video is to just put these companies onto your radar, essentially let you know that they exist, because I guarantee it'll be one or two that you will have never even heard of before. So right before we do get into the video, my friends, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below, what are your favourite space related companies? And please, my friend, if you are indeed new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button and join the family of investors. Also, if you are interested in joining my private Discord group, that's the first link in the description, baby. In there, you will find out if I do indeed buy or add to any of these space-related positions. You get access to over 50 private channels. You join a community of nearly 1,400 investors. We're doing very well this year so far. That's all I was going to say. And if you want four free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. you got to sign up, deposit $100. It's that easy. You get four free stocks. Two of those are valued up to $3,700 each. So guys, I am actually going to start off with some of the more obvious ones and potentially the single most obvious one is Virgin Galactic. It's ticker symbol SPCE. And I think that among retail investors in particular, this is everybody's favorite space related stock. It's quite an exciting one. We all know that they want to bring the everyday person to space. We all know that that could happen as early as this quarter. Hopefully within the first half of this year, Richard Branson, the CEO, will be going to space. We also know that it's a luxury product, very luxury, as it's going to set you back about a quarter million dollars for a ticket right now. But if you have looked into it, you know there is quite a large audience and there is genuinely a lot of interest here. This is my biggest space holding as well. I really do like them with a long-term outlook. You will see that as soon as the news came out about the Arc X, Virgin Galactic shot up in value. They had an immense day and then yesterday, rightfully so, they had a considerable pullback of nearly 8%. Now for me personally, I don't think Virgin Galactic is one you have to rush to get into. These guys have a lot of volatile days, a lot of volatile weeks even, my friends. I mean, you're looking at the four-hour chart right now, you can see big up and down downswings very often you can see some ugly little gaps are created it's not the nicest chart in the world let's be honest now i was buying these guys below the 15s below the 17s that's where i really built up my entire position i have some areas of interest for you guys to look towards somewhere around 27.59 is a very clear area of what we can expect to turn into support then you want to look towards 21 to 23.50 also it is worth knowing that arc invest already does own spce and you will see that they actually have been picking up a little bit more as of late so the fact that this is already in their rq we can assume they're going to pick up quite a lot in their arc x but if you even go back to August of last year, they had less than 400,000 shares in the company. As of right now, they have over 1.6 million shares, nearly 1.7 million shares. So they have been loading the boat during the ups and during the downs, so I do believe they're going to keep doing so. Now my second favourite space related stock, okay, it has to be SRAC. This is still a SPAC and the company they're going to be merging with is Momentus. Now I do have in-depth videos on this company, okay, but think of these guys as last mile in space. They have this product called the Vigoroid. It's going to go on to one of SpaceX's Falcon 9s. It's going to carry loads of satellites up and it's going to bring them exactly where they have to go. It's last mile delivery in space. Now Arig Invest does not have a position in this company yet. And I'm going to say to you guys, I'm going to be very surprised if they don't open a position in these guys when the Arc X comes out. There's a reason I'm invested in SRAC over a lot of the other space related companies. It's because I think from a long term point of view, they have so much potential and they do have some really innovative technology, particularly their water propulsion system. And if you know Arc Invest, you know that they love innovation. I mean, that's what they live for. They love for innovation and disruption. And when it comes to space, it's one of the most innovative, disruptive industries that is out there. It could literally change the entire way the whole world works 
within a lot of our lifetimes, let's be honest. So this is one that I do have high conviction and high confidence that it is going to get added to the AGX. You can see that we do to an extent have trend lines forming, but it's nothing particularly clear as of yet. Again, this went on a huge run up when we found out about them. They had their 7% pullback yesterday. See where the price regulates. But when I made my first video on this company, I said I could see this being the single longest term hold in my entire portfolio. I think they could do amazing things in the decades to come. Okay, so next up, we have another company that a lot of people are going to be very interested in, but may not think about when we're talking about space. And that is NNDM, Nano Dimensions. Now, again, this is a company we covered on the channel. I think they were either in the low twos or the high ones the first time we covered them. You can now see that they are above $10 a share. I know there's a few guys in the Discord who are eating big off NNDM, baby. But these guys are in 3D printing solutions. And again, one of the primary reasons I think that these guys might make it into the AGX. First of all, I want you to remember that they specifically cited 3D printing when they were explaining the industries they're looking at. And yet again, this is a company that ARK Invest does indeed own. And you can see that they have been absolutely loading the boat as of late. I mean, right now, they're up to nearly 10 million shares and they only started their position in these guys at the very end of September. They have been buying very, very heavily, my friends. So they were buying very heavily in the twos and you can see that here. They bought very heavily when the stock was back up in the eights as well. So it's quite clear to see that ARK has high conviction on this company. So there's a 3D printing company. They have the Dragonfly system here. They have a lot of new systems coming over the next two, three, four years. Very exciting one here. Now, another one is ticker symbol IRDM, Iridium Communications Inc. One that a lot of us probably won't be too familiar with. You can see that on the chart, it's been on an absolutely immense, and I mean truly immense run up over the last couple of months. Again, this is one that did gap up off the back of the ARCX news, and it hasn't really had too much of a pullback yet, but the technicals are telling us that we are very overbought. So what I will say is in regards to this one, I certainly would not be rushing into picking this one up. That's all I'm gonna say. These guys operate the Iridium Satellite Constellation. A system of 66 active satellites used worldwide voice and data communications from handheld satellite phones and other transceiver units. So when you're thinking about ARGX guys, you have to think at the end of the day it's an ETF. And they said they plan on having 40 to 50 stocks in there altogether. They're going to have to have a very wide variant in there. If you look at any of their ETFs, their RQ, their RK, their ARCG, whatever it is. There's loads of very, very different companies in there. And ARCX is going to be no different. And yet again, my friends, this is one that ARC does indeed buy. And you can see that yet again, they have been buying it a lot over the last four or five months. This is one that they have in both their RK and their RQ. Now, in my opinion, it is one that's a little bit more on the pricey side, but... I still think it has a very bright future. Now, the next one is a company called Maxer, tipper symbol M-A-X-R. And again, this is one that is loved by retail investors far and wide. And yet again, you can see that these guys have had an incredible upwards run. I mean, it really has been absolutely fantastic. Now, the thing about Maxer is they've been around a very long time, okay? They've been around since Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. They have a lot of experience, let's put it that way. Now, this isn't one that ARK Invest owns just yet. These guys specialize in manufacturing, communication, earth observation, radar, and on-orbit servicing satellites satellite products and related services. So there's a few different aspects to this company and they've done a good job of turning things around over the last year. So you'll see here, the company is better now than ever before. A few years back, Maxer was heavily indebted to companies spread too thinly across too many projects. Ultimately, this caused the company to lose a big satellite in early 2019. But over the past 12 months, they've downsized its operations, paid down debt, and focus the business model around its strengths. And that's what you wanna see. This is potentially one of my favorite stock plays right after Virgin Galactic and Momentus. Sad thing is I considered buying them a long time ago, back when they were, you know, in the low teens. Never pull the trigger, it is what it is. But I do think, again, these guys have a lot of long-term potential. I don't particularly like the price right now, especially not after that recent run up with the Arc X announcement, but I will be adding these guys to my watch list. I kind of forgot about them for a while. Now, this is a very important one. We have Lockheed Martin. So anybody who knows anything about space will know who this company is. They're an American aerospace, defense, armed security, and advanced technology company with worldwide interests. They're a company who's currently trading at $347 a share. You can see that these guys haven't been doing too hot. I mean, if we go all the way back to February, these guys were up in the mid 400s. And you can see that not a lot really has happened for a while here. So don't let the fact that they're expensive necessarily put you off. These could be one of the better valued companies out there in my opinion. And what's more exciting is that if you go and look, ARK Invest very recently began a position in this company. Right here, the 11th of January is when they bought this company for the first time, and then they went ahead and bought a little bit more, only a matter of a few days later. This is one of very few space-related companies who's actually making decent money. It's not a Virgin Galactic or a Momentus or anything like that. They're making good money. ARK Invest very recently bought. I think this could be a good time to get involved with them, in all honesty. Now, I don't own a position yet, 
but trust me, I'm watching them very closely. Now, here is a little bit of a lesser known one, ticker symbol Luna, Luna Innovations. Now, you can see they are 10.39 a share, but they only have a market cap of 320 million. And you can actually see that that five year chart, they're up over 900%, my friends. They're an American developer and manufacturer of fiber optics and terahertz based technology products for the aerospace, automotive community, Defense, energy, infrastructure, security, everything. This is actually one that was brought to my attention by a Discord member, and I'm going to be doing some real DD into these guys over the next few days. I don't know enough about the company just yet. I can't tell you guys of the red flags. I literally have only done very basic research. But I think this one could be an exciting one and could offer some real high growth potential. You will more than likely see a full video on this one from me soon. Now, these guys didn't really get the same hype off the ARCX that a lot of the other guys did because not as many people know about them, simply put. You can also see they are no stranger to huge swings generally is going to be the case with these small market cap companies so do be cautious with this one again i don't know too much about them yet i'm doing my dd right now but i did want to put it onto your guys radar as well now this isn't one that a lot of people are going to think of but it's boeing currently trading at 204 dollars a share they made recent highs of 244 dollars a share i'm sure a lot of you guys will remember the crash when these guys came sub 100 dollars they had some big ups and some big downs Ultimately, right now, we're at about $200 a share. These guys do work with the government. And you will see that they design, manufacture, and sell rockets, satellites, telecommunication equipment, and missiles worldwide. It's not just the airplanes. It's not just the first thing that pops into everybody's mind. They're a very established company, okay? They did fall on tough times, but that also showed us that the government has their back. And things have been turning around for this company over the last month or two. So it's definitely not one to be overlooked. And again, guys, I want to remind you, we're speaking about ARCX right here. They need 40 to 50 companies in there. They're going to want some small caps. They're going to want some really big caps. They're going to want some relatively new companies. They're going to want some older companies. At the end of the day, they have to manage an ETF. There needs to be a nice mixture in there. And I do genuinely think there's potential that Boeing gets involved. Now, this isn't one of my favorite plays by any means whatsoever, my friends. I wouldn't be looking at Boeing as a space play. But I did want to include them in today's video. Raytheon Technologies is next up, a defense contractor company. They were a major US defense contractor and industrial corporation with coal manufacturing connections weapons and military and commercial electronics. On their website it says they're looking for a carbon free propulsion system, you love to see it. But these are the kind of guys who deliver secure, mature and open tactical training systems to the modern warfighter. They work with the US Navy in regards to missiles. There is a lot of things these guys are involved in. These are an exciting one and again a lot of retail investors actually are in this one. Now again it's not necessarily a pure space play but it is the kind of thing that I think could find its way into the Arc X. Obviously they're in defense systems, okay flights but also intelligent space technologies you can see they've had over 200 plus spacewalks in their spacesuits already 85 percent of weather data flowing into american forecast models is managed by their systems so this is one of the ones that i do believe has a lot of long-term potential now you can see again roni hit these guys very hard they came crashing down up here we had highs of nearly a hundred dollars a share now we're sitting just under 70. this is one that i would expect i can invest to get involved with in all honesty and then there is one more northrop Grumman Corp, okay? An aerospace and defense company. They're an American global aerospace and defense tech company with 90,000 employees and an annual revenue in excess of $30 billion. It is one of the world's largest weapons manufacturers and military technology providers. They have a market cap of 50 billion. If I show you that six month chart, they're down still about 13% from the highs. But if we do go back a little bit further, you can see that they are still down considerably on that yearly chart at over 21%. This is one of the ones I most certainly would expect ARK Invest to be getting involved with. I know it's not exactly a retailer's dream. It's $300 a share. People like cheap stuff. I like the look of these guys. You can see that when times are tough economically, these guys get affected. But obviously when times get good, these guys can shoot up in value. But anyway, my friends, there is 10 stocks that I think ARK will more than likely add into their ARK X that you guys can go and do some more research on. I've been getting a lot of people ask me for space related companies. So hopefully I was able to give you a few ideas today. And I more than likely will come out with some full deep dives into a lot of these companies if the interest is there. Because I know a lot of people are interested in space, especially with the ARK X announcement. If you watch this video all the way till the end, you, my friend, are a true legend and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Your support means the world to me. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button, drop me a comment down below and please, my friend, subscribe if you're new around here. And again, if you want to join that private Discord group, that's the first link in the description. You'll find out if I buy any of these. You'll find out when I buy or sell anything. Join a community of nearly 1,400 investors. It is beautiful, baby. We making money. And if you want those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.